All right, my friends, welcome back to this final navigation tutorial for Starfleet 2. This um, bit, we're going to go through the basic navigation tutorial, which is the first tutorial in the game. Now, right now, as I'm recording this, the game is in beta. The training manual that I'm going to be using is also in beta, so things might change between the time I record this and the time... Um, that the game is launched. Hopefully not. I mean, the basics are pretty much straightforward anyway. So even if something in the manual is not exactly what you see here, the basics of moving around are the are the same. So um, I'm going to be jumping back and forth between the windowed game and the windowed manual. So please bear with me. Uh, so we have a list of tutorials. Uh, we're going to go through all these in our um, in this tutorial series bit by bit. Uh, right now we're going to do... Tutorial one, navigation. Right. Right. Boink. <laughs> uh, all right, sure. <laughs> all right. Your ship is docked in Starfort. Um, so basically, we're going to start with system navigation. So for system navigation, press... N and then system map. And we see that there is a planet over here. Uh, this little planet right here, this little guy, uh, planet, I guess, 3A, because we're in system 3 and that's planet A. Um, so what you do from here, uh, basically, you use the number, use the, you can use the numeric keypad also, but use the arrow keys of the numeric keypad and you can either do one, um, coordinate at a time where you can hit shift and that moves five coordinates at a time. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to target the planet uh, and we're going to hit, as you can see, the object in the target section is planet. Uh, so we actually have a thing targeted. You don't target this. This is nothing. Don't target the A. Target the thing, the little O. That's always the planet. And you can see there's, see it says the object planet. Right now it's nothing. Uh, you don't want to target the star. You want to target the planet. That's what we're going to do. Um, so let's see. Yeah, basically, da, 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 da. that's what I just did. Okay. So now we're going to hit enter. And you could use... Um, ah, that's it. The F2 or the F4 keys to change your velocity, if you want. Uh, we don't really have to. Um, hit enter. Actually, no, it wants us to change our speed. I'm looking at the tutorial. It wants us to change our speed to 0.5. So you hit F4 a few times. And that's, that's going to slow us down a little bit. But, you know, there's sometimes reasons for that. Uh, sometimes your engines are damaged. Sometimes you know there's an enemy there and you don't want to rush in. You know what I mean? You want to kind of slowly make your way so you have a little more time to react if things are coming at you. So we're going to hit Enter. Boink. All right, so now we're going to go back to the main screen and we're going to hit F9, start the engines. You can see we have a course of uh, 131. Let's see our velocity is set there in the velocity gauge. see the long range sensor of the star base star fort going uh, back behind us as you see now we're approaching the planet the star is right over there and we are not going to orbit the planet right now. Okay. Um, so now we are going to apparently in, according to the manual, make our way manually down to the, um, hang on. We're going to make our way down to the bottom of the map. So let's see. 
Now we're going to set our sublight speed at 0.3. And we're going to start our engines. Now the game wants us to head back to Starfort. So what we're going to do is we're going to change course using the F5 and F6 keys. We're going to set course back toward the Starfort. That's what the tutorial wants us to do. Alright, and once we get close enough, the game want the manual wants us to go back to the main display. So basically, we got to turn a little bit. You can always get a bearing to things. This isn't in the manual, but you can always get a bearing to things by marking it on the map. Oh, that's bearing 45. So. What we did last time, but... Now we have manually now we have manually gone right next to Star Fort and we've docked. Alright. So now the next part of the tutorial talks for interstellar navigation, which is moving from one star system to another. Um let's see. I'm gonna call up the nav map, Alt N. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Hang on. All right. So now we're going to launch some probes. Yeah, we're going to launch a probe at that system, according to the manual. Probe, launch, boink. Cover this in the last manual, too, but I'm just taking you through the actual tutorial. All right. So now, you know, now it wants us to do this one. Oh, wait. It wants us to go here. So now we're going to actually go to this system. So we've got the system targeted. And we're going to go there slowly. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go there quickly. Uh, so we're going to target it. Boink. And it actually, the, na the nav tutorial actually tells you to do this. Uh, boink. So now we have set a course for this other system. And we hit F9 to go. This will be a short trip. It's right there, you know. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and there's one planet here. All right, so let's take a look at the system. So we can we can manually set a course for this planet. Why not? So you do that from the system map, which is Alt S. Then you use the arrow keys like you did earlier to select the planet. We're just going to do it manually this way. Well, not manually, but we're going to do it the sh the slow way this way. Excuse me. Got to hit the engines. I'm reading as I go here, so I should be covering everything. <laughs> uh, yes. This time we actually want to orbit. Now, when you, uh, when you orbit an unknown planet like this... No, we don't want to see the map. Uh, no, we are not going to send on landing parties at this time. That's another tutorial. <laughs> um, but it's nice that your first party asks. But that's a different tutorial. Um... So now we are going to return to uh, Starfort. And the easiest way to do that, well, there's two ways. Uh, apologize for that. There's two ways to return to Starfort. Um, apologize. Computer's doing some crazy things. Um, first, the ma the way the manual is going to have us do it is you hit all w for the war map and you know you select you see your star forts we're going to select the star fort we're going to select the system we're going to select the star fort that is how you do that but i'm going to show you something that's not in the manual it's, oh it is in the manual there's a tip. There's a shortcut. Okay. So we're going to clear our targets there. Uh, we're going to you know, reset. Clear our targets. Now, the easiest way to go to a star for it, there's a shortcut for it. It's Alt-J. Alt-J will determine which star fort is the closest and automatically take you there. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, once we get there, we'll, it'll ask us if we want to duck. Which, we, you know, we will. All right. And yes, we do want to dock. And that, my friends, is the basic navigation tutorial. Um, for, uh, that is the basic navigation tutorial for Starfleet 2. Basically, it, has your orbit, has you fly around, has some do some manual course changes. Again, navigation is a bit tricky in this game, but once you get uh, familiar with it, it's not bad at all. Thank thankfully, things are in two dimensions, so it's not hard to get your brain around. Um, but as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. I've played a lot of this game, and I know just about everything, but if I don't know something, I know the guy who's making it, as I like to say. Uh, so... He would probably answer the question if I can't. Uh, so thank you for watching. And now after this, because we're this is our last navigation tutorial, we are next going to move on to uh, engineering, which is you know the next. Uh, as you can see, it is the next um, thing, next entry in the main menu. So that's going to cover. Uh, transporters, damage control, all this fun stuff. So um, we'll see you for that. Thank you so much for watching and see you for the next entry. Bye-bye.